Yeah, you know, last Wednesday, the Jazz took on the Clippers over at VSA. Mike Conley, he got red hot, and the Jazz got a big win. But there was no Kawhi Leonard in that game. Tonight, the rematch, and this time with Kawhi on the floor. Yeah, a big test for the Jazz this early in the season. They could not have asked for a better start, though. It was Boyan Bogdanovich that came out on fire in the first quarter. He made the first three shots of the game, capped off by this three. And the Jazz jumped out to an 8-0 lead. Then Donovan got going. His three put the Jazz up 11 to two. They led 20 to 16 after the first quarter. Second quarters, Clippers went on a 22 run to take a 12 point lead, but then the Jazz went on a run of their own. Mitchell, another three pointer. It's gonna be followed up with another Boyan Bogdanovich three. You can't leave him open on the wing. He'll knock that one down. Jazz down six. Then Rudy Gobert gets one inside. He's gonna throw down. It's 39-34 clips, but the Jazz keep rolling. Joe Ingles drops a three to tie the game up at 39. And with 26 seconds left in the half, Donovan Mitchell with the right hand rolls it home. A 17-3 run to close the half with the lead. Let's go to the third quarter where Kawhi Leonard shows what makes him such a special player. His strength, as good a defender as he is a scorer, muscles his way to a steal and slam. Kawhi had 30 on the night, but Donovan kept pace. On a lob, Donovan, showtime! Showtime it in L.A. Woo-hoo-hoo! Donovan flying high. The Jazz win the third quarter. A little help from Joe Ingles. Ingles dials up a three. Some big buckets off the bench. Tony Bradley also taking advantage of playing time with the injury to Ed Davis. Eight points, five boards. That tip-in gave the Jazz a 10-point lead. Joe Ingles had nine points, five boards, two assists off the bench. Jazz led 69-65 after three. Oh, but the fourth quarter. He only made about 30% of his shots and was 0 for 5 from three, but he gets hot here. Kawhi Leonard does a three for the one-point lead. And they couldn't clean up the offensive glass either. Look at this. Jermichael Green gets in easily, puts it back, and the Clippers have a three-point lead. You mentioned Kawhi's 30 points. 18 of them came in this fourth quarter. He was dropping those shots, and the Clippers finished with 18 offensive rebounds in the game. That was the real difference in a 105-94 loss. Too many second chances for the Clips. I like Donovan's aggressiveness, um, but you know it, it, we don't want to waste that because we can't get defensive rebounds. So, you know, and that's one through five. That's collectively we got to rebound the ball. With all, with all due respect, he, he hits shots, but you know the shots that he missed, we get those rebounds and we run. You know, I think Trez had two or three tippings. Um, Patty Bev gets a loose ball. Um, those are four extra possessions right there. You know, we can we can close that gap if we get those rebounds. You know, he's going to hit shots. You know, he's, he's Finals MVP for a reason, but we got to be able to capitalize when he doesn't, and we, we didn't.